Let's take buffalo sauce. Let's take ranch dressing, but let's make it a little different. We're doing my air fryer buffalo wings. How are we doing things different? Well, for starters, we're using an air fryer to get our crispy golden chicken, but some other little surprises here. We're making an Asian style buffalo sauce and we're making a slightly sort of Asian style ranch. Really cool, um, great flavors. Let's get going with the chicken first of all, because I have some little tips and techniques for getting the really crispy chicken in your air fryer. So I'm using drumettes and flats today for my wings. Probably my two favorite bits of the wing. So there are two important things you need to do to get your chicken really lovely and golden and crispy in your air fryer. First of all, you wanna salt your chicken and just leave that salt to penetrate for a little bit because what I wanna do is allow that salt to kind of draw out some moisture just from the surface area of that chicken and then I'm gonna paper towel it off so that the chicken is really dry. So two things there, you're seasoning plus you're drying out the skin. Dry skin gets crispier and browner a lot easier. So that's the method to the madness there. Um, now, while I'm waiting for the chicken and the salt to do its thing, I'm just gonna make my ranch sauce and we're gonna start off with some mayonnaise, some sour cream, buttermilk, herbs. I've got some parsley and some spring onion, which gives you a nice, slightly Asian kind of vibe to the sauce salt, some freshly ground black pepper. So just give that a mix. And just some final bits and pieces here, some lemon juice. And some garlic. So I like to make extra ranch because there's so many things I like to do with that, like a baked potato, um, Carrot sticks, I know carrot sticks aren't that exciting, but I think they taste really good dipped in the ranch. Um, uh, or seafood as well, actually, I love that too. Okay, but let's get back to the chicken. Um, now, I'm just gonna grab some paper towel and I really wanna pat that chicken dry. Because I think air fryers are really great, but just some little extra steps before you use your air fryer, like this drying out and the salting, really help make a big difference. Okay, let's pop this in the air fryer. So you always want to use a little bit of oil spray just to kind of stop things from sticking and to give your chicken skin more of a chance to get crispy as well. And the other thing is that you want to keep everything in one layer. If you bunch them up too much, um, you don't get an even crispiness. Now a little bit of spray on the top of the chicken. Now I'm going to put these in at 200 Celsius for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to come back and flip them over. So the other thing I wanna do now is my spicy buffalo sauce. So we're going in, first of all, a little um, non-traditional with some gochujang and some barbecue sauce. Now you can choose your own adventure here. I'm going with an Asian style barbecue sauce, similar to like a tonkatsu kind of flavor, but you could go with a regular old barbecue sauce, whatever you like. Just give that a mix. Now to give this sauce like it's lovely kind of glossy yum factor, we need some butter. Fair amount of butter here. So that's gonna just go into my saucepan here and I wanna melt that down. Now my melted butter just goes in these other two sauces and then magically things get all thick and glossy. I mean, look at that texture. Just the right amount of stickiness to like coat each of those chicken wings. Okay, let's have a look in here. These are looking pretty good, but we need to flip them and get them cooking on the other side. Now back in for another 10 minutes. Right, so 10 minutes. Coffee time. <laughs> Dax, do you need a coffee? Yes, please. You should make your own then. <laughs> No, I'll make you one later. I've got mine already. <laughs> now let's see if it's nice and crispy. Ah, oh, yeah, for sure. That is looking really golden, really lovely and crispy. Mm, love that. You know, it is very impressive that the air fryer, you know, it can get things all like golden and crispy 
I do love to deep fry though. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm definitely a deep frying chicken kind of girl, but if I'm in a hurry and I need some crispy chicken, it's not a bad idea to do it in the air fryer. But feel free if you guys wanted to, if you didn't have an air fryer, you could fry the chicken or you could oven bake the chicken too. Now here comes the really special part, the mixing. I love seeing all that glossy sauce get stuck all over that chicken. Ah, yum. All right, now I put my ranch sauce to my serving plate. Pile that chicken up. And now you've got more sauce here, so why not just drizzle some extra sauce on top? I'm an extra sauce kind of girl. I don't think anyone ever said less sauce. Did anyone ever say that? No. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Spicy buffalo sauce, not your average buffalo sauce, but let's see if it's a good buffalo sauce. I definitely need to dip this into my ranch. Oh, look at that. I mean, that just looks so good. Mm. Oh yeah. That is ridiculously good. I mean, you're getting you're getting that kind of buffalo sauce and ranch vibe, but it's a lot, a little bit more subtle. Um, the sauce is really, the ranch is really nice and tangy, and then you've got that kind of spicy gochujang buffalo thing going on. Mm. So good. Yum. Hey guys, if you want to know whenever I'm releasing something new and delicious, then you should hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that I can let you know every time something new is coming out. Thanks, see you!